What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back out here at Wilson's tractor where we dropped the bus off. I made a couple settings on the camera to maybe make it seem better during the daylight and the film be a little bit smoother, but and hopefully the mic's better. So let me know what you guys think. But I picked up an IDM from my buddy Robert Bornado here in town. So there's the computer. Um, we're gonna get the hood popped open, see if we can get this thing running. If we do get it running today, which we hope, cross fingers, hope we do, we got some batteries out of the truck that we use for winching on. Uh, we're gonna try to get this thing started and get it pressure washed and cleaned up. Aaron is over there getting the um, tractor unchained. We're gonna get it jumped off and get it unloaded. We may have it sold. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Cletus mentioned that he may want to buy it for his side by side ramps and stuff like that at his house. Not sure yet. So, that being said, get the hood popped open, get the computer put in here, get batteries installed, see if we can get started. So guys, the engine is a D444E. Um, right here is the panel that holds the IDM, which is injector driver module is what it's called. Um, and here's the plug for it. I'm gonna have to run inside and grab a 10 millimeter wrench so we can get it plugged in. All right guys, we're gonna take a quick break from the bus. Before we get it started, I know you guys are all super excited to see that and let you guys know this video has been brought to you by Keeps. They're the sponsor of this video and they have helped us get this sick bus that we have now. Keeps has revolutionized the way men are treated for hair loss with Keeps. It's easier and more affordable to get treatment for hair loss and help you keep that hair that you have already. Obviously guys, I have plenty of hair on my head, but if you look right here, I'm like starting to lose hair right here. So Keeps is definitely gonna help me from having this problem going further back because my dad didn't have a problem with hair, but my, my great grandpa and my grandfather ahead of him were almost all bald. So don't want to lose any of this hair and this, you know, this sexy appeal guys can't have that happen and, and looking back at you guys on camera. But prevention is key to keeps treatments work really well. The sooner you start using keeps, the more hair you'll save, so act fast. Many even experience hair growth with keeps treatments. So that being said, guys, two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. That's insane, guys. I'm 25 now, so in 10 years, I may start balding. I don't want that to happen. So Keeps treatments are up to 90% effective at reducing and stopping further hair loss. If you're noticing that you're losing hair, guys, do something about it. For a limited time, go to keeps.com slash Bruce or click the link in the description below for 50% off your first order. All right, guys, so now back to the video. Well, folks, there it is. I got it all plugged in. Let's see if I can climb down out here without breaking the knee or something. Oh boy, almost fell. That hurt, didn't feel good. Uh, I just got full of the industrial injection regarding the cab over. A lot of you have been asking if we finished it, guys. Just because we're on another project a different day doesn't mean the other project's just mystically done overnight. We literally just tore the engine down the other day. Um, heads with the machine shop, should have those back in about a week or so. Uh, waiting on the in-frame kit to come from industrial injection and one of their partners and the injectors and injection pump are there. I just spoke with them. They asked what kind of power we want to make with it. Told them right around 450, 500, somewhere would be nice. And uh, they're setting us up with a sick new turbo also. So that's what we are not doing with anything with the cab over right now, we're waiting on parts. But uh, batteries go right here in the side bins. We're gonna get them put in. Well, folks, got the both batteries set in here. This wire right here pulled out, so I'm gonna try to shove her up in there and recrimp it. I think I can, maybe. I'm gonna hook more power, baby, to it. There it is, there's the juice. Well, let's tighten up the negative ones first, I guess. Might make things a little bit easier. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Then we gotta remember to check fluids, right? Oh, yeah. Don't wanna forget to check oils before we start it, you know? That's it. I was about to find out, huh? 
Yep. Let's hope the uh, hope it teaches over. Hope the batteries aren't dead. <laughs> All right, I'm so excited. Oh, gotta check fluid. The other yeah, side. Let me forget. No, that's engine. That's trans transmission oil. Engine oil should be on this side. Maybe it is on the other side. Might have me a slew bus. Where the heck is the engine oil? Next stick. Hmm. See the engine oil fill. Oh, you looked right over it. Oh, we'll check it out. Yeah. Yep. It looks clean too. It's got oil in it. Okay, let's start it up. Oh, something's working. Something's happening. Something's happening. Yep, fire up. I hear something clicking. Flows all to need it to get that oil pressure built up. They don't sound happy. There it goes. Just need to bleed the oil out of the system. Heck yeah, brother. <laughs> all right, let it run for a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. It runs so good too. Uh oh. Feel the gas. A little bit. Turn it off. Alright, start back up. Uh oh. Go ahead. Hang on. Maybe it needs a little bit of go-go juice again. I don't think it's happy with the ECM that's in there. Go ahead. You guys are gonna give me crap about that. Go ahead. That's how it should sound. pissed off or something with a sensor or cam sensor or something. This thing's such a potato. It's got 100 psi of oil pressure. Alright, I'm going to plug the um, the uh, brakes back in and we can go drive it. We're on the block. Here. Hold on the floor.
brakes are right there. Pull it out. No. I know, but none of this stuff's working. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that truck to stop. Did you get out and film me driving? Or look at Out. <laughs> <laughs> this thing holds butt. This thing will for sure do a burnout. Guarantee it. Yep. Alright. Oh yeah. They're spinning tires the whole time. Waiting on Ed to come out here all pissed off now I too. <laughs> All right, I need to know now. What is we need to um, take in checkers? No, we need to turn clamp rear brakes so they don't work. No, nah. it'll burn out. I'm just happy it runs. It runs good too. It hey, runs and drives. That's the burn thing. out, freaking bus, boy. I wish we could figure out why none of this stuff's working. There's got to be a fuse or something. Oh wait, no, something. Came Go outside and see if anything's working. Open the doors, bus driver. Lights are working. What are you doing under there? I know, YouTube viewers, take a guess what we're doing with a pair of vice grips near the rear brakes. <laughs> we could easily drop this thing like four inches just by taking some of these leaf springs out. Just slam it And there's the plenty of, like, there's about eight inches of footwell there, too. Is the exhaust warm yet? Yeah, it's a little toasty. Not too bad. Man, this thing is sweet. Probably should have brought the uh, starting fluid with me, but. back you're still on dirt whenever you're, you're close to front tires well guys it won't do a forward burnout because it's too heavy right now you obviously have to drop some weight improve the front brakes got it got it but uh we're gonna make it do a reverse burnout <laughs> yeah
was full of smoke too. I know it's only one tire fire. You guys are like, look at this freaking idiot. A school bus, one tire fire in reverse. To burn out a school bus, guys. You won't Stop see that any day. Look at all the rubber in there. Oh my gosh. Well, those There's aren't new still tires anymore. <laughs> a crap load of tread, too. That's so sticky. <laughs> all right, well, we gotta make it do a forward burnout. So I guess what we need to do is turn it around. Maybe the other tire will fire since this well, one's let's, let's turn it around and put the blocks in front of the tires. I think it'll do it. We just gotta find a way to like, Really block it so there's a bunch of blocks right there. I told you. Okay, well, let's move the pallet, we'll get a new burnout. Brakes, right? Huh? These are the brakes. Yeah. All right, come forward. Go all the way to the back Wait. if you'd like. 
brakes. What about brakes? Uh, oh, that's fine. We got front brakes still. You want to shut the tractor off? Or? No, we can run. I want to shut that bitch off right there. Fuck that. <laughs> Well guys, you know what time it is? Time to pressure wash. And I've got Super Clean here, one of our sponsors. Um, great people, they set us all kinds of cool cleaning products. So, I'm using the aerosol pan to get the windows and stuff that needs to soak before we start pressure washing it. And uh, we're gonna get some stuff mixed up and I'm gonna go get a pump tan off the thing and cover up some clean. Well, everyone, there it is. Our future burnout bus for cleaning cars. I guess I didn't really mention that in the last video. I had to change the title because everybody's like, what are you doing with it? So future burnout bus for cleaning cars right here is what you're looking at, guys. Uh, we gotta get some lights to go back on the front and back of it. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of research between now and the next couple weeks because Cleaser Cars in Houston, February 8th, 15th? February 15th, yep. So uh, we got a lot to figure out if this engine's gonna work. If not, we gotta swap it with something else to make it work and make it happen. Because obviously it's got the power. We just gotta find something to 
pull the make the front brake or front tires on a slide so obviously we gotta get rid of all the freaking seeds start gutting this thing cutting them all the way out of it possible if we have to cut the floors out of it by golly we're gonna cut the floors out of it and we'll put some aluminum down or something it may already be aluminum who knows but if you guys are enjoying the videos, we'll be coming back at you with the cab over content. We'll probably go back to the cab over a little bit tomorrow. There's a bunch of stuff that's come in, things we can go do to it. So we'll go take care of that tomorrow. So make sure you smash the like button, drop a comment down below if you guys are excited about the bus. I know this isn't the same content you guys are all seeing. A lot of you are here to for the cab over, but um, so there it is. Um, should go over to Bruce Wilson 2 YouTube channel. Me and Aaron are about to load up and go pick up his new work truck, the Dodge, on that channel. So catch you guys later. Go to BruceWilsonShop.com. See you.